Steve Ishmael now joins us here as we're talking the wideouts today and previewing this group. And uh, your group really has stepped into the forefront this year, I think, with this new offense. Uh, how much do you feel is on your guys' plate as a group, just the way you're running them, throwing the ball around here this year? Uh, it's on us, man. It's on us. I mean, the pressure's really on us. But I feel like we're going to do a great, great job in terms of capitalizing on the situations. I mean, um, we have so much great talent and players, man. I mean, well, the new addition on, but Alvin Cornelius, Brisley, Irvin, I feel like everybody is good enough to contribute, and I feel like everybody's going to step up to the plate and take charge. You said a lot of names there. Do you think we need to know a lot of names this year just with the pace and amount of wide receivers you're going to use? I really, I really think so, man. I mean, as I said, this offense is chances, so I feel like everybody's going to get an opportunity, and I feel like this group is most definitely mentally mature to make the most out of those opportunities. I mean, um, with the scrimmage on Saturday, just looking at the plays that those guys made were, pre were, qu were quite surprising to me, just looking at them from freshman year to now. So, I mean, it's, it's most definitely been a, been a process, and I'm loving what I'm seeing now from um, our group. And you may get more opportunities than most out there as you're slated to start on the outside with this group. But what do you feel your role is this year, and how much can it increase from the last two years? Well, I feel like my role this year is just um, staying consistent with everything. I feel like over the past two years, I was um, a little up and down, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of um, what my role is, not, not really getting quite a feel for the offense. But, you know, this year, I feel like I'm a lot more mentally focused on what I have to do because out there is nothing but receiving and everybody have to focus on their job. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, hey, I have to know other positions so I can help other people as well. So I feel like I just have to really focus on myself and know what I have to do out there so I can help the other team. And in terms of the opportunities, man, um, just got to make the most out of them. You know, my role is just to contribute as much as possible, you know, and as Coach Baber says, you know, worry about yourself and everything will be okay. The mental aspect of this offense is one that stands out, I think, because there's so much talk about it, the speed of it and having to get in shape to, to run this offense. But what has it been like mentally? Because you got to process what play's been called, get lined up and all that uh, a lot faster than maybe you did in the past. Uh, when we first when we first did it, it was a lot. It was a little confusing, you know, but as time went on and I feel like um, the summer training that we had most definitely helped a lot. I mean, um, I got accustomed to it during the summer, so I feel like now I'm in a more comfortable place. Mm -hmm. um, my mind is at ease, so now I feel like um, when I go out there, I know I can make a play. I know what I have to do, so it's no more thinking. It's just straight going, going, going. So I feel like with that mentality, we're most definitely going to be ahead over everybody else, you know, as a unit. You mentioned a couple other guys playing on the outside with you. Amba Edatawa certainly has stood out, I think, here the last few weeks as a new guy to your group. What's he bringing to the outside wide receivers? Uh, he's bringing a lot, man. He's bringing a lot to the table. I mean, he's really fast, speedy guy, man. And I feel like um, he does what he has to do off the field, so I feel like it's most definitely going to transition to off the field. And, you know, um, as I said, I'm a truthful man. If I see somebody good, I'm going to point it out every time, you know. Um, <laughs> And he, he's really good, man, really good. And I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. He's really good, and I'm going to give him the respect that he deserves. So, you know, with, with him, Ace, Jamal, I feel like it's a lot more comfortable out there knowing that these guys are consistent and they are going to make the play when it's presented to them. Well, here you are now into the last week of camp camp and about to get ready to prepare for Colgate. How ready are you guys uh, to get out there a week from Friday and play some football? Uh, you know, I feel like we're just staying neutral as a group right now. Um, you know, I know in previous years, especially in high school, when game time came, it was always a switch of momentum, and that sort of made the team sort of nervous and anxious. But, you know, I feel like Coach Babers, he's doing a great job as a leader, as a head coach, in terms of having us just stand neutral, allowing us to process mentally that this is still a game, and, you know, at the end of the day, whatever we do in practice is going to transition out there on the field. So, you know, I feel like he, he really, he's really – focused on what we do in practice. He'll get us right in practice and he trusts us in the game. So I feel like that's a lot that's a lot more confident as a unit to know that our head coach trusts us and you know that we're gonna make the plays. Alright Steve sounds good. Looking forward to see your group out there this year. Thank you so much my man. Take it easy.